Developing now, a group in South Bend wants to bring back a way to travel through town that first got its start in the 1880s. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springate tells us why this group says an electric streetcar will add much more to this community than just public transportation. That's right. The idea is a single electric rail line will connect Mishawaka, South Bend, and Notre Dame's campus. When I spoke with the task force today, they told me this will not only help a lot of people get to where they need to go, but also strengthen the community around the river rail. The project is only in the conceptual phase, but task force members say it will follow existing roadways like Mishawaka Ave and run alongside traffic. So yes, they're transportation and they provide another form of transit, but maybe even more profoundly, they help economic development around the routes uh, where they are. Cervelli says that economic development can come in the form of new businesses, reinvestment in existing spaces, and improved property values. The beautiful thing is that it's electric, so it's not contributing to um, you know, car the carbon footprint uh, of the region. In fact, it's going to reduce the, the need to have a car. One task force member says the river rail could remove barriers for people who don't already own a car by providing reliable transportation through the heart of St. Joseph County. This is not necessary in competition with the existing bus system. It's, it is one that complements that. Uh, this being on a permanent rail would, would have its own defined uses, which is going to be relatable to that economic development that happens along that transit. The next step is funding a feasibility study to determine if the idea is possible. The task force says they're seeking federal and state transportation dollars to get this done. And you can head to this story on WNDU.com for more information and a link to the River Rail website. But for now, reporting in South Bend, I'm Jack Springate, 16 News Now.